Pat, we're um, obviously we're um, looking at trying to understand um, some of the, um, the key indicators really to do, to achieve success on on the rugby field yes. and to, to for the player to to reach an optimal level of performance. Yes. As you know, um, when a player when I started off as a player and a lot of players uh, in the past when they just were uh, preparing for games, it was so kind of focused on like your training performance and how you prepared in terms of your, your nutrition, I suppose, how you mm. trained during the week. Yeah. But nothing really focused on how you felt mentally. Now, yeah. just as I say, it's it's such a key element now to all sports performance. Yes, it is. If it's, it's a mind and body kind of relationship as yes. well. You can feel on um, in tip top condition in terms mm. of your fitness, your mm. speed, your strength. Mm. But then, if you aren't aren't quite there mentally or psychologically, mm. that's when your yes. performance tends to suffer. Yes. So I say sports psychologists have started to come into the game far, yes. far more now. And I think that is only going, to, only going to increase as the game becomes more and more professional, yes. if I could say that. Or it becomes more and more intense and the prize gets, gets, gets bigger. So if you're looking at a, a player starting off or he's just coming into the, in, into the setup or whatever of trying mm. to aspire and become a professional, what do you think are the key psychological attributes okay the physical ones you've got to be strong fast mm. um you've got to be uh, aggressive then type of thing but is there certain psychological attributes that a player does need to have or needs to develop to become the player they want to be and to uh, and to achieve that success they, they so aspire in uh, i think towards? i think that's a very uh, that's a very big question and i i really the, the physical element of the game is really tactical is nothing is not my area at no. all but in terms of an appropriate mindset, I think if you were considering a, a young player who uh, was keen to be the best they could, and they were taking care of yeah. the tactical, the technical, the physical, developing a healthy and resilient mindset is extremely important. Uh, now, if you're 16, 17 years old, that might be the last thing on your um, agenda. However... An inquiring mind, an inquisitive mind, a willingness to continue your development is a mindset that you'll need throughout your whole life. Yeah. Um, and starting as soon as possible is an extremely um, important part of any performance. Not only with preparation, mm. uh, not only during a game, but also after a game. What a... Uh, I found is that uh, there are evidence supports some key areas and the area that really is important is first thing is decision making. Yeah. The decision making is if you're going to learn continually which is really important is consider three things. One, you're never going to know everything. Mm. Two, that your time is limited. Three, that the future is uncertain. Yeah. What is important both pre, during and after a game is to bear this in mind because we will never know everything. So to have a, an inquiring mind, which is, I mean, in other words, not thinking you know everything, no. not thinking that this is all there is to it, that's all there needs to be. An inquiring mind, and that actually requires a key factor, which is, in a way, a personal courage, a, a way to, a, a way to um, ensure that despite distractions, despite yeah. external influences, you're always going to continue to grow. Mm -hmm. This is a very important part of it. Secondly, time is limited. Well, for a rugby player, that's fairly obvious. Yeah. There is yeah. there is a career limitation. And thirdly, the future is uncertain, which kind of brings us back to the first point, which is it's what you do now that's really important. So developing a healthy and resilient and inquiring mindset is very important. 